Hello, well, I'm Howell Davis, a Welshman who bought this place with his wife, Carol, what, 40 years ago. And um, we've had it done up, obviously, paid a hell of a lot of money for it, 200 pound. Uh, and people thought we were mad to go paying that much for, for such a, a wreck. Well, we've had many happy years here, and we had a great friend, a fisherman named Al. He was known as Big Al on the Sparkling Star, and uh, he was sometimes known as Sparkling Al, which was a very appropriate name for him. He was quite a character, and it was he who, on the Sparkling Star, dredged up this anchor way out at sea and deposited it at the the pier at Kinloch Bervy and uh, he told us we could have it. So we had a coal lorry which had a, a bit of a crane on it and he brought it up and I think it cost us a hundred pound to have it moved here. And that's about all I can tell you about it really. Can I give you a hand, Doug? The story of the exploding cannon and the and the broken and the blown off arm and his burial uh, was related to me by my father, who came from a generation where anecdotal stories and stories of historical stories were deemed important to that generation and generations pr prior to his, of course, which is now, of course, not. Not no longer related as the modern world of television. He and Donald MacDonald, the the minister, the Free Church minister, in the in the now uh, abandoned building, the abandoned church. He and Donald MacDonald did not see eye to eye uh, over, over Sabbath, Sabbath keeping or Sabbath breaking. And out of pique, uh, George Leet fired the cannon he had in his yacht. And uh, lo and behold, the thing malfunctioned, blew up and blew off his arm.